Hello everyone, welcome back. So, I was surfing YouTube at like 1am about a month ago, and I ran across a video on the channel Periodic Videos, and it had to do with creating Element 119. I wasn't expecting much from it, you know, I was just like, oh, okay, you know, this is pretty interesting chemistry stuff. Well, when I heard him talking about the way that they isolate the calcium isotope, calcium-48, something struck me. He said that they did it in a way that used aluminum to reduce calcium all the way from, you know, calcium carbonate, calcium oxide, to just straight up calcium. And he said that aluminum has a higher affinity for oxygen than calcium. That, of course, sparked some interest. And so I decided, hey, maybe I should try this again. With that, let's get into this. So first off, I'm going to start off by crushing up all of these antacid tablets. These antacid tablets contain calcium carbonate as well as a bunch of fillers, so I'll also have to burn off some of that filler material and hopefully get something relatively pure. I don't know how it's going to work, but hopefully it just kind of works. And so with that, I decided to throw in a couple of antacid tablets just on top of the whole mixture just cause. Also, I decided it wasn't really worth crushing them up that much. I figured they were probably just going to be destroyed by the fire anyway, so. Also, the reason why I chose to work with antacid tablets is mainly because they're a little bit more pure than the groundwater hardness stuff that I was using before. As nice as using those natural ingredients was, there was a lot of magnesium and other stuff in there that I just didn't want to really get into the mix because I didn't know how that would affect the reaction. Now, the antacid tablets are far from pure calcium carbonate as well, but I think they're a little bit more pure and consistent than what I was using before. too much like aluminum for me to confidently say that this is calcium. Something tells me I didn't just melt this much calcium either. I'm thinking, I mean I did have an excess of aluminum anyway, so I'm thinking if there is any calcium, it's locked in an alloy. So I'm guessing this probably isn't elemental calcium. If anything, at best, it's a calcium aluminum alloy, which wouldn't be bad, but at the same time isn't particularly great. So I decided to melt some of the slag, and this is what happened. I ended up seeing some bumps coming out of the aluminum. That was really encouraging, because what I did is I included more antacid tablets in there. So, maybe I reduced some more? I don't know. Alright, so, in that last video, I hadn't gone crazy. In fact, I decided to try something to see if I could tell the difference between these two. So... Right here we have my probably mostly aluminum ingot, and right here we have my really interesting little blob of something, probably calcium now. So here's what happened. Right after the failure of this, I found some slag from a previous reduction attempt for calcium, and some of the slag that came off of this last melt, and I decided to throw it all together. Um, some aluminum was included in that mix, so 
I decided to throw it all together and absolutely blast it with my Map Pro torch. And so, that's when I saw these little bubbles forming in the top. Now, I knew that I'd thrown in some calcium carbonate, obviously. I took some of the hard water deposits from earlier and threw that in with the antacid tablets. But, something I know about calcium carbonate is in the presence of heat, it decomposes into calcium oxide and CO2. When I saw these bubbles coming up through the aluminum, I thought, hey, maybe that's what's happening. And then I thought, wait a minute, if it's decomposing into calcium oxide... That means it's probably around the same temperature that aluminum will reduce the calcium oxide into calcium. And so I just kept absolutely blasting it with heat. And well, this is what came out. Something that's just a little bit darker than my regular ingot. As you can see, they look pretty much the same. But this one is noticeably darker, especially when you look at it at an angle like this. Now obviously there's some slag on top of this one, so... It isn't exactly a great sample, but I'm thinking this probably, if only one of these contains calcium, is probably this one right here. Another encouraging sign is the slightly yellowish oxides I noticed that are building up right here. It's just a real thin layer, but that might be something good, I don't know. And that's about the extent of it, so yeah. Maybe I reduced some calcium, it certainly looks like I reduced at least some. But I don't have any pure samples of calcium, which is a little bit annoying. Realistically, this is far above my pay grade, so I wasn't really expecting a whole lot of results here, but I'm glad that at least some signs of calcium are present in my little aluminum blob. Well, anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please do like, subscribe, and comment below. I do need ideas and suggestions for future videos, so if you have those, please do leave those in the comment section. I will see what I can do about that. Anyway, with that, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.